What's up y'all? If you're new, welcome. If you're old, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jerry and you're watching Life with Jerry. <laughs> you are my African queen. The girl of my dreams. You take me where I've never been. You make my heart go ding a little. All right guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? How are you guys today? How's everybody doing? So today I'm gonna be doing, I would say as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a story time, but you might not be able to tell from my title because I kinda wanted to play around with my title today for this video, but now you guys know, I'm gonna be doing a story time about my first time, my first experience on Tinder, okay? <laughs> Y'all are probably like, girl, Tinder? Like, Tinder? Yes, um, if you don't know what Tinder is, it's basically, hold on, let me fix my collar because I don't want to be on this looking all raggedy. My hair keep getting in my face, so if I keep playing with it, I'm sorry guys. Also, wait, real quick, real quick. Facts on my hair. So this hair is from So Good Looking, my business. Um, all information in the description box. If you want to know how I got this color, I do have a video up on it, so just go check it out. And yeah, but anyways, back to the video. <laughs> So today I'm gonna to be doing a story time about my first time on Tinder, my first actual Tinder date, might I say, I guess. Um, yeah, because I feel like I don't really do story times like that on this channel and I wanna do more story times. And I have a lot of stories I can tell, honestly. I just don't tell them. I don't know why, but I don't and I need to. I need to do my story times more because Y'all need to know, like y'all need to know the tea because your girl, I got a lot of story times. I got a lot of stories. So before we get into this video, make sure you like this video, give this video a huge thumbs up, smash that like button for me because y'all are gonna like this video, trust me. Um, also give this um, channel a subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button. It's free and helps me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Join Jerry Gang. We lit over here, we a family, we all of that good stuff, and y'all are not gonna, y'all are not gonna be disappointed with my upload, trust me. It's 2019 and I'm only coming with fire, like period. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below, okay? Comment how you feel about this video, comment your thoughts, um, anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Comment video ideas, anything. Just interact with me in the comment section. I love talking to y'all down below, so comment down below. And turn on your notifications because YouTube does not notify you guys when there's a new video. And I want you guys to get all the videos. I want you guys to be notified. So hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified every time a new video drops. Okay? So now that all the facts and all the nitty gritty is out the way let's get into this story time because i know y'all are y'all are ready to hear like girl what you swiped right on tinder and this happened what happened like what's the tea what happened so i'm gonna get y'all the tea i'm gonna tell y'all what happened okay so okay so how did it happen how did it happen how did it happen so okay no this was back when i I was in that relationship. If you guys don't know which relationship I'm talking about, I did a series of story times about my most toxic relationship. Um, some of you may know who I'm talking about, but it doesn't really matter, it's irrelevant. But if you wanna know about what happened, I did a very, very, very multiple story times on that, so go check those out. But yeah, back this was back then when I was in and out of that relationship, on and off. So we were off, I think we were on a break. Yeah, we were on a break and my friends were like, okay, well sis, like, you single right now, like, either we were on a break or broken up. I think we were broken up, I don't know, whatever. But um, my friends was like, sis, you're single. Like, we've been trying out Tinder and you need to get on it too. You need to try it out. And I'm like, Tinder? They're like, yeah. And I knew what Tinder was because I used to watch story times of other people doing Tinder story times and stuff and their first time and dates and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know if a date gap is for me. I don't know. Only one, because I'm shy. I'm extremely shy, so I can be talking to you through text and stuff and be completely comfortable and then when we meet up, I'm a whole nother way because I'm shy and I don't, I know a lot of people don't like that so I just decide to stay away from all, from things like that because people don't like that. People don't like when you're one way in messages and then another way in person but that's just me, like I'm shy, like that's just the type of person I am. So for me it's a little harder if that makes sense. So I don't really like dating apps and stuff like that because of that fact and I don't want people to be like oh you're one way on this and you're another way in person like you're not you you're not this you're not that like all this blah 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 say blah say so I was like uh I don't know if this is for me but I was like you know what why not 
I'm not in a relationship, I'm single, I might as well just give it a try. Like, who knows? I may find the love of my life on there. I might swipe right and find my next boo. You never know. So, I was like, uh, why not? I'm gonna just go ahead and give this, this app a try. Um, so I made me a Tinder profile. I uploaded some pictures. I was trying to look earlier for the messages between me and this particular boy that I'm gonna tell you guys about in the story. But for some reason, it won't let me scroll further than a couple months ago. And this was last summer. This was in the summer, in the summertime. So yeah, I'm sorry guys. So I'm just gonna try to go off the dome in my memory with this one and yeah. So anyways, I'm swiping right. And this was in the summer once again. So I was at home in the Bay Area. You know, so yeah, and a lot of Bay Area boys honestly are cute. Like Bay Area boys, they a different breed. I'm not even gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna lie. They a different breed. Like for real, for real. Like I don't know what it is about Bay Area boys, but they are. Whew, like I don't know. They so bad for you though, but they so fine. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it just don't make no sense. Like can y'all be fine and good for me? Come on now. Anyway, so. No tea, no shade, because some of them, there are good ones out there. But anyways, yeah, so I'm like, oh my gosh, all these people is cute. Like, all these people is fine. Like, oh my God. 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 Like, why have I not been on this app before? Like, what? So I start matching with people, and I'm getting hype. I'm like, y'all, heck of people is matching with me. I got like 99 plus matches, da 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 Like when I tell y'all, I was swiping, like I ran out of swipes, I had to wait 24 hours. Like I was turned up on that app. Like I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, I done got, I done let that stuff get to my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm matching with people. People think I'm cute, like little old me. Y'all think I'm cute, me, <laughs> me. So I'm like, whoo, I'm matching with people and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah baby this is the app for me like i'm lit i'm hype i'm like turned up so i'm like y'all heck of people matching with me people want to link with me i'm like i don't know like what should i do y'all and they like okay you just need to link up with them you gotta start you just gotta go out your comfort zone i'm like all right so a lot of people start asking me to link up they start asking me to go on dates with them and stuff like that and i'm like sure okay but a lot of them didn't fall through because that's one thing i don't like about tinder like you can be talking to somebody for a couple weeks or a couple days get them your number all that stuff and then stuff still don't be falling through one of y'all cat like it just don't be i don't know that's just something i dislike about tinder but anyways yeah so I'm sorry if this is a little over the place. I'm trying to remember. But yeah, so I swipe on this particular boy. I'm not gonna name him. I'm just gonna call him Shorty because y'all gonna, yeah. <laughs> no tea, no shade, but y'all gonna know why later. Like, I'm not even trying to throw shade when I say that, but I'm just gonna call him Shorty. Like, what's up, Shotty? Like, Shorty, you feel me, Shorty? Like, I'm gonna call him Shorty. So yeah, so Shorty, we swipe right on each other. We match or whatever. Mind you, he was cute. Like, the only thing that threw me off about him was he had that little ducktail. You know how some boys, they'll have that haircut, had no hair, and then boom, they got this big old patch of hair, like a ducktail on the back of their head. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, he had one of them. And I was like, you know, I'm just look past it because he's cute. He had braces. And something about braces for me with boys, dark-skinned boys with braces does something to me. And I don't know why. I don't know what it is. But it just does something to me. Like, I don't know. It's just so cute to me. Like, oh, my gosh, you. My type is dark-skinned man. I love me some chocolate dark skin men. Like, I don't discriminate though. Like, I, they're not the only type of boys that I would date, but that is my type. Like, I know I have a type and that's my type. So yeah, he was dark skin. He was already winning because he was dark skin chocolate. He was fine. Like, he was fine, y'all. He was fine. And his pictures, he looked like he would be taller than me. Like, he looked like he'd be like up here type stuff. So I'm like, oh yeah, this, this, this a move like we're gonna have to make some shape with this one so yeah and then he had braces too and it was like oh my gosh he was rocking them braces like it looked so cute and i'm like oh whoo baby <laughs> so we talking for like a couple hours and stuff but we talking talking like we going back and forth like replying quick to each other all that and then i think he asked for my number so i gave him my number if y'all know me i don't usually give my number out like that i don't give my number out to people like that i'll just be like oh why we can't talk on here da, da, da. only because it's no point in me giving you my number and trying to save your number and do all that if you're going to be temporary that's just how i see it like what are we exchanging numbers for like 
we met on this app, we could talk on this app for a little bit and figure out if it's gonna be temporary or not. Like, we're not about to waste each other's time. Like, people that hit me up on Snapchat, oh, what's your name? I just, I'm just that type of person. I don't like giving out my personal information like that, my number, stuff like that. Like, I don't just like giving it out. Like, that's just me. So, you know I had to be feeling him to really give him my number, so, yeah. So I gave him my number, we started texting and stuff, and he was like, oh yeah, I wanna go to the movies, but I'ma end up going by myself or something like that. He like said some slick stuff that made it seem like, okay, I don't wanna go by myself, like you need to be like, oh, I'll go type stuff. You know how some boys, they be indirect with it, but they know they be wanting you to go with them to the movies, like, oh boy, you don't need to be indirect, just tell me you want me to go to the movies with you, like, I don't, <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, so he was he like said something indirect about the movies and him going by himself. So I'm like, oh, I'm not doing nothing today. Like, if you want me to come, I can come to the movies with you. Mind y'all, I ended up finding out he lived in San Francisco and I lived in Hayward, California. He lived in San Francisco, California. Hayward and San Francisco are not extremely close to each other. So I really commend this man for making that drive to pick me up from home and take me to the movies and still drive himself back home. Like. A real one, a real one, a real one. I really wish we ended up still staying friends to this day, but we kind of just lost count the contact. It wasn't nothing, nothing on bad terms or nothing. But anyways, yeah. So he was like, oh, I could come get you. We go to the movie theater out by you. And I'm like, oh, okay, mind y'all when him, we matched on Tinder. It didn't say he was that far. Like it said he was a couple miles away. So I didn't know he was in Frisco or lived in Frisco, which means maybe when he was on the app, he was closer to Hayward. And so it said it was closer. I'm not sure because you know tinder doesn't buy your location so yeah but um he was like yeah i could come pick you up we go to movies close to you we go pay for a hair i'm like well hair is the closest i don't know i don't be trying to go nowhere heck of far i don't know you like that i'm still a little skeptical you fine and all but i'm skeptical about getting in your car what if you try to take me with you or something like what if you try to take me y'all T I don't just be hopping in people's car like I just don't so I was like okay I mean you could pick me up and stuff so I tell my mom I'm like yeah I'm going on a date with this dude I met on tinder she's like what is tinder I told her about it da 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 she's like okay well be safe da 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 and me and my friends when we go out or go with new people we turn on our location well it's usually already on but back then it wasn't really on yet so I was like y'all I'm about to go out with this dude to the movies he's picking me up so I'm turning my location on in case anything happened to me y'all got my location you feel me so I turned my location on it took him a minute to get to me because like i said i found out he ended up living in san francisco so it took him a minute and he ended up catching traffic so yeah it took him a minute to get to me i think i took a nap and everything y'all was tired so yeah <laughs> um he ended up picking me up mind y'all when we was having a conversation before we met he was like how tall are you i was like i'm five four how tall are you he was like like five nine or five eleven or something i'm like okay cool like good thing you just say no like five six five seven because people that say they're like five six five seven they really still be like five four five five and they don't they either be my height or a little shorter so i'm like okay cool I'm, I'm cool you gonna be my you gonna be taller than me like this is about to be perfect you about to be my new boo like marry me already you know i'm just kidding but yeah so um um i get in the car and i'm like okay i'm looking at him i'm like he looks like he's gonna be shorter than me when he stands up like oh my gosh i'm already like turned off like as far as wanting him as far as more than friends you know wanting to have more with him than friends and that's just me i get turned off quickly i change my mind quickly that's just me like the your attitude or like the littlest thing you might say that puts me the wrong way i'm just gonna be like mm -mm, i'm cool off you like on that type of level we could be friends you know that's just me like i don't know it's just me i try to people are the flags anyways so i'm like oh my gosh this man looks like he's about to be shorter than me i don't wear some platform platform bands today so i'm gonna be real tall like i'm like oh my gosh this is crazy so i'm like all right well he saves like five nine so hopefully he is his car was nice though he drove a nice little car he looked, I was like, okay, like you doing it. Like he had a nice little car, nice little watch on. Like that man was diamonds dancing, bling blinging like my little watch or whatever, but his was better. Anyways, uh, his outfit was nice. Like he looked very well put together and that's that was like a, 
a big turn off for me like that was such a good thing so he looked really well put together and i was like okay cool like okay we could be friends if this hype thing don't work out i could walk i could be like that's my partner that's my ace bone cool because he was cool like we was in the car we was having a nice little conversation and stuff like i wasn't too shy like he made it easy to talk he made it easy for me to get comfortable around him and stuff and i like people like that because i'm a shy person so if it's easy for me to warm up to you quicker than it usually takes me to warm up to people then that's a good thing that's a good sign that means you're social and we can't both be shy like one of us gotta get the other one out their shell so it was it was a good experience for the most part so um um we got to the movies and we pull into the little parking lot we park up top and i'm like okay now's the moment of truth we got to get out the car and we got to see how tall this man is right so we get out and this man is like right here or something like that like he was shorter than me and i'm like oh my gosh i don't even want to go to the movies with him no more not even on some messed up stuff but it was just kind of like oh my gosh i know too many people people might be at this movie and think that i'm i mean see me on this day with this boy that's like right here y'all know sometimes we do that as human beings we tend to do that a lot so y'all been y'all can't say i'm wrong like i still went with him and i still really thought he was a cool person and i still kept contact with him obviously but that was just a thought in my head like oh my gosh do i really still want to do this like can we just get back in the car but i obviously wasn't gonna do that i'm too good of a person i have too good of a heart i would never do somebody like that you know what i'm saying but yeah um i was like all right cool and we get in the movie well he paid for the tickets both of them thank the lord i mean i brought money i always bring money still even if that person asked me or anything i just always still bring money too because i never really because you know the way society is now and the way men are they don't always 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 chill chill for me chill for me am i saying it right i hope i'm saying it right if i'm not just please correct me i'm sorry if i'm butchering this word but chivalry chivalry i'm sorry i can't speak today but y'all know what i'm talking about that stuff is dead now to most people so it's like a lot of boys don't take you out and pay some boys don't like i'm not even gonna lie like i'm not even trying to throw shade or nothing but that that's just what they do some of them don't so i bring money with me no matter what the case may be even if it's my boyfriend i'm still gonna bring money just because like at the end of the day, you don't want to never leave the house without money anyway. Like, anything can happen. You might need to get somewhere. You might, you, you never know. You just never know. So I was bringing money with me. So I had my own money. But he ended up paying. I was like, thank you so much. Like, I'm always so grateful. So I told him thank you like three times. He might have been like, okay, girl, I get it. But, you know, it's just me. I was just like, wow, okay. Because the relationship I was in, we were broken up and stuff. But if you guys watch my story time you guys knew financially i was doing mainly everything so it felt different and it felt new for somebody else to be doing something for me financially and stuff so i was just extremely grateful like wow thank you so much for paying like you know what i'm saying but anyways yeah so we could i forgot what movie oh no we saw ant-man and the wasp that movie was good y'all that movie was so good and we had a really good time but anyways we, we got there a little too early so we had to sit and wait for the movie to clear out and as soon as we sit down he goes I thought you was 5'4". I'm like, I am 5'4". Like, are you trying to say I lied about my height? I was like, I am 5'4". He was like, you seem taller. I'm like, maybe you're just shorter. And that's not me being rude, but it's like, how you gonna come at me for me saying I was 5'4", which I am. I've been 5'4 since I was 11 years old. I think I know my height. Like, I haven't grown. So, yeah. I'm like, and you not 5'9", or whatever you said you was. I was like, so... I was like, but I'm 5'4". Um, I go to the doctor. I get checkups all the time. So trust me, I know. Um, but yeah, we got past that. We laughed over it or whatever. And he was like, yeah, we had a really good conversation. We talked about school. We talked about my business. We talked about him. We talked about me. We talked about a lot. We watched Ant Man and the Wasp. Um, I would say we was maybe a little bit cuddled up. He was a really nice person. Only thing that was just throwing me off was really just the height. So it was just kind of like... Oh man, I like you, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a big person. I like somebody either my height or taller. Not only because I like to wear heels, but I just like somebody taller than me, honestly. Like that's just my preference, so yeah. But we had a really good time. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I did not find my boyfriend that night. I didn't. That first 10th day, I did not find my boyfriend. I did not find me a soulmate. I didn't find none of that. But I did find good company and a good person and somebody who was my friend for most of the summer. We did um, plan to hang out more at times, but it just didn't work out. But we did keep in contact and stuff. So that was fun. That was good. Um, so yeah, that was my first Tinder experience. Um, I'm sorry if the story was a little bit over the place or a little confusing. 
y'all can let me know i don't mind constructive criticism because i do want to do more story time so y'all could let me know um if y'all was if it was easy to follow along you know let me know that too <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this story time i hope you guys enjoyed this video that was my first tinder experience my first tinder date my first blind date i'm gonna even say blind date because i seen them with we match we thought each other was cute obviously so yeah but that was my first little you know time on tinder i've had a few little tinder dates so if y'all want to know about some more comment below let me know obviously i still haven't found my soulmate on that app i don't even really get on that app anymore because of the simple fact like it'll be like i'm texting somebody for a few days and then we're not texting no more we're not talking or we're trying to link up and it never happens and i'm i'm type person like i'm don't waste my time i'm not gonna waste your time if we, i find that we're wasting each other's time i wipe my hands clean of you so yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment i'm trying to like get a like comment and <laughs> subscribe i don't know is it over here or over here <laughs> subscribe and turn on that post notifications hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified i love you so so much jerry gang comment down below video ideas or what else you want to see from me on this here channel and yeah let me leave you guys on a quick positive note beat your face now people bye